Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. I am gonna do like a fitness style vlog, just kind of really focusing on taking you through the next few days and what I'm doing with 75 Hard. If you don't know, I started 75 Hard at the beginning of the year. It was a very like random and last minute decision. It was like a few days before the new year and I was like, hey, the new year would be the perfect time to do 75 Hard because I don't really have a lot of plans throughout the next 75 days. And so that makes it a little bit easier to follow the rules. If I'm just kind of home, it makes it a lot easier. And then I said, all right, I'm gonna do it. And here we are, I'm on day 11. So far so good, we haven't had any cheats yet. I do wanna say, because I got a lot of heat for this, I'm calling it 75 hard just because that's like the name that everyone recognizes the program as, but I'm definitely doing more of like a medium or like a soft version, if you will. I'm calling it 75 hard Krista's version. I'll pop up my rules right here that I'm following. So the original 75 hard is a program created by some man, I really don't know, but it's basically supposed to be like a mental toughness and physical toughness challenge. But I just love the idea of challenging yourself to really focus on your mental and physical well being for a long period of time it's more than i do in just everyday life right like i i am a relatively healthy person like i try to stay active and eat healthy but this just kind of puts it on paper and makes it more of a challenge so for my rules we have a 45 minute workout daily this can be really anything i've been doing weightlifting but i've also been doing pilates yoga sometimes i walk on my walking pad and then my second rule is a 45 minute walk every day and I put inside or outside. The original rules for 75 hard are that you do two 45 minute workouts a day and one of them has to be outside. I'm not walking outside in the rain, sorry. I know that's like supposed to be part of the mental toughness, but ideally my second workout, which is for me a walk would be outside, mainly because I like to take Franklin with me, my dog but I made sure to put inside or outside because if one night I need to just do it on my walking pad because it's raining or it's dark or whatever, that's fine with me. So that's one like difference in my rules. Next one, high protein diet. So I'm really just trying to prioritize protein. I have had like the ick lately with meat. It just has been grossing me out. So I'm trying to like force myself to push through that and incorporate meat in most of my meals or some kind of protein because i am like a carb kind of girl like i could just eat bread and pasta with butter all day long so this is like my challenge is to eat more protein the original 75 hard rule is to follow a diet of some kind so this is my diet of choice no alcohol slash limited alcohol. I really am trying to do absolutely no alcohol. I haven't had anything to drink since starting. I am very confident that I can go the entire 75 days without drinking, except for Gasparilla, which is a festival here in Tampa in a couple weeks. I'm like having an internal battle with myself on if I should allow myself a couple drinks that day. I have some friends coming in town for it. I think it would be fun. I kind of want to have a couple drinks. So I'm almost thinking of just doing like no alcohol except for 
at that festival I can have a few drinks. So no slash very limited alcohol. The original 75 hard is no alcohol. 10 pages of any book daily. This one is definitely like more of a challenge for me. The reading itself obviously is easy, but I haven't read in years. And I'm like almost done with my first book of the year, which for me is a big deal because like I said, I haven't sat down and read a book or finished a book in years. So that one's kind of fun. And then 100 ounces of water every single day. The 75 hard original is a gallon, which my goal is to get through three Stanleys a day, which would be a gallon, but I just wrote 100 ounces because if I can only get through two, two and a half, it's not a big deal, but like bare minimum two and then three ideally. So that's like right around 100 ounces if I get to like two and a half or whatever. So those are my rules. That is what I've been doing for the past 10 days. This morning, as you guys saw, I got up and did a leg day. I had not been lifting the past few days just because I was sore, but I got back into it today, so I did a leg day. And my legs were trembling, like in the very first exercise, I started with squats. My legs were already trembling, so I know I'm gonna be sore tomorrow most likely, but that's a good sign. It means you worked hard. So our first workout of the day is already done, and I think for my second workout, I am going to walk on my walking pad. It's a little bit gloomy outside, so. I don't really want to do an outdoor walk and we do have plans tonight we're going to grab dinner with some friends for like a late little birthday celebration for will my fiance so that's kind of the plan for the day i have a meeting in about 30 minutes so i can't walk on the walking pad yet but i am going to do it right after that meeting is over go ahead and knock that out and then both of our workouts are done for the day i also think i'm probably going to go ahead and knock out my reading right now like i said I, i'm kind of just like waiting for this meeting it's an important meeting that i need to be in before our next my next steps with work right now so i kind of have 30 minutes or so to kill and it's a perfect time to knock out my reading still working on this book but that's that's pretty good progress if you ask me i'm probably like three-fourths of the way done because a lot of the last pages are references or whatever this is so let's knock out our 10 pages before my meeting so far this book is okay it's definitely interesting in some chapters it's just not exactly what i was expecting i based on the back of the book thought it was going to be about like at least a good portion of it. I didn't think the whole thing, but at least a good portion of it would be about social media. And it's just not, I would say like, so I have two chapters left and I would say 80% of it is just about addiction in general, whether it's drug addiction, sex addiction, alcohol, anything like that. It's just about general addiction. They haven't had any chapters on social media yet. So we'll see if the last two chapters talk about it. I mean, they'll like mention it here and there, like how easy it is to get addicted to social media, but it, it'll be like one sentence and they don't really go into depth about it. So I'm hoping maybe one of the last two chapters will be about that because that was the impression that I was under. So yeah, I wouldn't say it's a bad book. Like the book is good. It's just not what I was expecting. And I haven't had any protein today. I had some cheese with my breakfast, but so we are gonna have a protein shake, getting in our protein. I have a very bright like ring light on me right now because I hate the lighting in our apartment. Like, like the light bulbs that they choose to put into the ceiling lighting is like the yellow bulbs versus if I could choose, if I could put the bulbs in there, I would put in the um, like fluorescent bulbs. I know it's not as like relaxing or whatever, but it's way better for content. Like the white light versus the yellow light. Yellow just looks so bad on camera. I always make Will, we're like not allowed to have lights on in this house. Why don't we just put white lights in? I don't know how to change them. They're like, I don't- What do you mean you don't? You just unscrew it. I mean- I didn't know you, I didn't know you wanted me to do that. I could have done that. Yeah, that'd be really helpful. Consider done. It's our project next week. Okay, I don't know how, but I'm sure there's a way. Yeah, I don't think it's that easy. What? How, how would they? How would they do it? Be a little friendly. 
I don't know. Anyway, so when I'm like filming something at night, I always, we always have to have like all the lights off in the house and then I just use like a ring light. That's what we are currently doing. It's so bright, but I'm getting ready. We're gonna go eat at American Social, which we kind of, I feel like we go there a decent amount. American Social is just like a old reliable. Like it always is a good time and it's on the water, which I like that. Yeah, we're going with a couple of friends to like celebrate Will's birthday. His birthday was on Monday, but um, we had a work week, so we're celebrating it tonight. But I will not be drinking. Shouldn't be too difficult, because actually I just realized Liv and Jared both are doing 75 hard. So neither of them are drinking either. Everyone can watch me drink. So I'm literally the only person who can drink as well. Which I haven't drank in forever. I, I was not a drinker. He's not a big drinker, but I think you'll have a couple drinks tonight. Really? For your birthday. For my birthday. I'm gonna finish getting ready, and then I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. Play Ariana Grande. Okay, here's Ariana Grande on Spotify. this song had on the world when it came out. It's time for my least favorite thing, which is picking out my outfit because I just don't want to change out of my cozy clothes, you know? It is 76 degrees. We could do pretty much anything. We could do shorts, but it's also winter, like it's January. So if I wanted to wear like boots, that's also acceptable. Jeans and a cute top is like, tried and true can't go wrong i got this dress a while ago it's from aritzia well i got it off facebook marketplace but it's like new with tags i feel like this is like appropriate i think i might try this on and maybe wear it with short boots these bad boys i guess i have to change out of my robe unfortunately here's option one i definitely like it like i think it's a cute little dress but i don't know if it's the vibe american social is very it's like a sports bar and especially if you're going late on a friday night it's gonna start getting rowdy and i feel like this is a little too corporate america i mean don't get me wrong obviously you don't wear this into an office but i don't know it's not it's not giving sports bar i'm gonna keep looking this will be like my backup option okay this is i think more the vibe it's like way more casual just a pair of jeans and this like asymmetrical top that i'm wearing kind of wrong but it has a zipper on the side hopefully it stays up and i might do like a little heel i'm gonna go with these they're like jelly sandals okay here in the mirror pretty like casual but like quickly i literally have 10 minutes and oh, i wanted to drink a coffee but i don't think i'm gonna have time for that so last night i had my first like temptation like really bad like i almost drank i went out to dinner for will's birthday with just it was like a double date and everyone got a drink and so you know when you're only dressed up and out for dinner you totally want a drink. I mean, I was so close, you guys. I literally ordered a margarita. And then, um, this was like the third or fourth time the waitress was coming around. I ordered a margarita and she was like, I was wondering why you didn't get a drink when everyone else did. Um, we are like, yeah, like we're doing 75 hard. And she was like, oh, me too. She was like, but okay, I'll put in your margarita. And I was like, shit. I was like, never mind. Don't do it. Like, just her saying she was also doing it. I was like, well, I can't, I can't do cheat in front of my fellow 75 harder. So I said, never mind, take the margarita off. <laughs> she was probably like, this girl's struggling. So yeah, stayed strong last night. Definitely was tempted. And yeah, we're still going strong. I mean, I'll totally be honest. Like, I don't know if I'll last the whole time without drinking, but we're definitely, we're definitely trying. It's just like a social thing. Like, it's not like, I don't drink that much anyway these days. Maybe like... It was probably like once a week, maybe once every 
other week, I would say, was my consistency. Anyway, so now I'm getting ready because I'm going to like a group walk. So that's going to be at least one of my workouts today. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know. I get nervous for things like this. It's just like a bunch of random girls all meeting up, but that's exactly how I met my friends here in Tampa. There was like, uh, there was a happy hour that was hosted by the same group. And I went to it all by myself like three days after we moved to Tampa and met a bunch of girlfriends, a couple who like are my best friends now in Tampa. So I know I can do it and I know it has positive effects, but it's one on weekdays. It's like a brand that hosts events. It's by an influencer, Jenna Palak. And there's like a Tampa group message. So the last one I went to wasn't like an official fun on weekdays event. It was just like, the girls in the group message kind of put together a happy hour. But this one is like an official fun on weekdays hosted event. So Jenna is gonna be there. Um, so I think it'll probably be like a lot bigger than the last one. The last one I went to, I don't know, I'd say there's maybe 20 girls. And I'm probably expecting, I don't know, like 40 to 60, maybe more. Cause it was kind of a last minute thing. She just like, she just texted about it yesterday and it's this morning because it's just we're just meeting up in downtown at the convention center and then walking i don't know if we're walking the river walk or walking bayshore but i am excited i like jenna pallet i feel like i have followed her for a really long time like i definitely have followed her since her like days of trying to get on the bachelor if you know if you know you know I'm definitely excited to meet her. She's like, I feel like one of the best influencers about creating community. I mean, obviously she has a whole brand based around creating community and like events, um, but also just generally like responding to her audience. Like I've sent her a few DMs and she always responds. I don't know. I just feel like she's a very community oriented influencer. It's like she feels like one of the girls. I'm almost ready. I'm really like, I really want a coffee and Liv is driving us. So yeah, one of my workouts today will be this walk and then maybe I'll just do another walk later. I'm not sure yet exactly what I'm gonna do. Also, since my goal is two 45 minute workouts a day, like if this is long, like if this is an hour and a half, I feel like I can count that as two workouts. I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't know how long this actually is going to be. We are ready. I'm just wearing this one piece from Amazon. I'm going to throw on a jacket because it's like 65 out. And then I'm going to wear these shoes. I never wear them because they're like a quarter size too small. But I just keep hoping that they're going to stretch out a little bit. But they are very cute. <laughs> I'm back. I've been back for a couple hours now, but I needed to like lay down. I swear we walked so much. We met up at the convention center and then walked down Bayshore. We didn't actually start walking. Like the meeting was at 9.30, but we didn't actually start walking until 10. Then we probably walked about an hour and then walked over to Toastique to get breakfast because we were hungry after the walk. I got an acai bowl. I have some left. I'm about to finish it. And then, yeah, walked home. I think my total walking was like right at an hour and a half. So I feel like I'm good for the day with my workouts. I might walk on the walking pad a little bit later, but I feel like an hour and a half of walking or two 45 minute workouts, like that's one and the same, right? What's the difference besides just putting like a couple hours between them. Just my, just my two cents. You know, I, I'm doing 75 Krista's version, okay? Yeah, I will say a couple things. One, my legs are so freaking sore from the leg day that I did yesterday. Did like squats and deadlifts and everything. And oh my God, my legs, like any kind of movement, bending, walking hurts. Secondly, I have a huge blister between my toes. I'm assuming it's from walking so much. I mean, I haven't walked this much. Like every day I at least go on one 45 minute walk, if not two. And yeah, I'm like literally injured from it. 
I've seen people say that they got like shin spurs or like crazy stuff, um, just like walking every day. But I just put a Band-Aid on. Hopefully that will help because it hurts so bad. It's like in between my toes. So any kind of walking movement, it like rubs it. So hopefully that helps. Yeah, plans for the rest of the day. It's three o'clock, wow. I did not realize it was so late. I was hoping it was like noon, but no, it's three. So we're just relaxing. We're watching Suze, we're chilling. We're supposed to go to like a dog park thing tonight. So we'll see if that actually happens. I feel like it will, but we'll see. For the next few hours, I just wanna relax. I just found out Friday that Monday is Martin Luther King Day. So we don't have work. I had no idea. We were like, we were in our morning meeting and my manager was like, anyone have plans over the long weekend? And I was like, long weekend? What is she talking about? So I went and looked at our company holiday calendar and realized that we have a long weekend. That is so nice. I was not expecting that at all, especially this soon after the holidays. I don't think I realized that we got another day off. And then I think after this, our next day off is until like May for Memorial Day maybe. Yeah, so it's definitely a big break with no holidays, but still, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I definitely need to take advantage of this long weekend. I feel like acai bowls don't save super well, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the one that I got earlier. Okay, I just got myself put back together after laying in bed the majority of the day, and we are going to the dog bar, so we're going into St. Pete. Saturday night, so I don't think there will be much traffic, so 30 minutes or so and the bar is called mutts and martinis and it has like drinks food i'm gonna get a virgin moscow mule i think because i love like ginger beer so and we're meeting up with a couple that we've never met before so this will be another challenge for me to be sober in like a new social situation but honestly i I feel like I've been doing pretty good, so I'm feeling good. I'm dressed like a bum, but apparently this place has like dog pools, and so apparently you get kind of wet, like with the dogs all splashing around everywhere. So I'm wearing just like an oversized hoodie and some leggings, or what are these, like flare leggings? We're headed out. It's like kind of chilly outside to me, so I'm also gonna throw on a jacket. Hopefully it's not too chilly since the dogs will be, I'm assuming, getting in the water. I don't really know but I'm excited. from a walk. We walked for a little bit over an hour, about 70 minutes. I was timing us because these are gonna be my workouts for the day. So yeah, I still need to walk for about 20 more minutes. So I set a timer. I stopped the first timer at 45 minutes and then we stopped. So we walked for 45 minutes and then we got stopped and got pizza. And then our this was our walk back. So I still need to walk for about 20 more minutes. We wanted to drop off our pizza. I think we're gonna head back out and hopefully I get in about 20 more minutes of walking because then that will be my two 45 minute workouts, two 45 minute workouts, both being walks. So that's an hour and a half of walking. That's my plan for the day. That's what I do on days where I, when I don't really wanna go down to the gym. So that's what we're doing. I had to stop at CVS and I got this photo. I got this printed off Etsy. Well, I got it, this part done off Etsy. It's like a handmade drawing, but I just got a digital, so then I printed it at CVS. It's for my stepmom. We haven't seen them yet, like for Christmas. They're coming up this weekend, 
so their dog passed away in November. So I thought this was a nice gift. I'm gonna put it in a nice frame. And then we got my dad the Apple Pencil, which I think is here so we need to go get that it's in my package room we're gonna go walk to the grocery store and back and that should about finish my time perfect we can get an errand out of the way and finish my walking back from the grocery store nothing too exciting most of this stuff is for will honestly he's like getting back on his meal prep stuff i did grab some pure tart cherry juice because I'm so easily influenced and it's supposed to be good before bed. It's supposed to like make you kind of sleepy. So I'm excited. You can like mix it in. I'll mix it in probably with the ginger lime poppy and make a little bedtime mocktail. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> Orange juice to mix with my greens. Some chocolate we like to always have in the freezer. And yeah, the rest is pretty much this guy's stuff. Sheets are drying. We did a pretty good like full Sunday reset. Today I like mopped the floors, we're doing the sheets because we skipped last week's Sunday reset. So it was definitely much needed today. Okay, I'm about to end this vlog, but we're gonna try the little sleepy time mocktail. I'm gonna use the ginger lime poppy. I know a lot of people use the cherry lime. I don't think I have that one right now, but I feel like this will be really good as well. And then we have our tart cherry juice. And then other people put magnesium in it. I think I mentioned this earlier, but we don't have magnesium. So I've heard that like, even if you don't have it, it still kind of helps you sleep. So we'll, we'll give it a shot. I'm gonna put mine in a wine glass, but Will already has a cup, so. I don't really know. I feel like that's good. Or no, I feel like you don't want too much. Really good. Doing the cherry with the ginger lime kind of made it taste like the cherry lime poppy. It's actually really, really tasty. And I think I did the perfect ratio. You wanna try yours, Wilbur? Yes. <laughs> That's pretty good. You actually like it? Can I try yours? The tart cherry is pretty tart. I think you're, you, I have, you have less poppy than I do. Good though. Look at our little sink cat. He loved the sink. Okay, well we are going to get ready to head to bed. I'm gonna enjoy this while we watch some suits. I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you so very soon in my next video.